Is Aldi really any cheaper than any other grocery store? Let's find out today. Hi everyone, I hope you're having a good day. So a string of Aldi is popping up where I live. I'm very excited. I used to live in Atlanta and we had lots of grocery store options and now I live here and we got a Piggly Wiggly in a Walmart. Piggly Wiggly for life. Piggly Wiggly for life. So today I'm going into Aldi. I am finding some staples in our house and I am comparing them to Walmart. Grocery prices are going to be different depending on where you live. I live in coastal Alabama and so our prices are much cheaper than if you live in New Jersey or Massachusetts or California or New York. Compare prices where you live. You can go to Aldi's website and you can go to Walmart's website and you can price compare. Oh, but first, if you're new around here, hello, my name is Lydia Sin and I make videos on frugal and simple living. So if you're looking to save money and learn how to manage your time, subscribe. All right, let's go. So we're gonna start off with a staple, just regular old 2% milk at Aldi. It was $3.49 a gallon, and at Walmart, it was $3.94 a gallon. So the winner of this round is Aldi. Next up is eggs. So eggs were $1.99 a dozen at Aldi compared to $3.17 a dozen at Walmart. So again, the winner is Aldi. So next up, we have oatmeal. So a large container of oats is $3.49 at Aldi compared to Walmart, which for the store brand at Walmart was $3.98 for the same 42 ounce container. So again, the winner is Aldi. So far, Aldi is mopping the floor with you, Walmart, so you need to catch up. Next up, we have rice. So a five pound bag of rice at Aldi is $2.19. And at Walmart for the Walmart brand is $2.58. I'm trying to compare Walmart brands because Aldi has a lot of store brands. The winner is Aldi. <laughs> okay, let's check out some greens. So Aldi has heads of lettuce for $1.59. Walmart didn't have any great value heads of lettuce, so I had to go with the Green Giant, which was $1.62. So again, I sound like a broken record. The winner is Aldi. Celery, I love celery, and it's $1.89 at Aldi as opposed to Walmart, where it is $1.68. Look at you, Walmart. I'm so proud of you. The winner is Walmart. Okay, let's check out the toilet paper situation, which oh, is giving me flashbacks. It's giving me flashbacks. Anyway, so Aldi's ultra so strong toilet paper is $1.65. No, it was $11.65, Lydia. Get your act together. Whereas at Walmart, it is $12.98 for the same mega rolls, which toilet paper math confounds me. Confounds me. Aldi wins this one. Okay, we've got canned beans. Canned black beans were $0.71 cents a can, and pinto beans were $0.83 cents a can compared to Walmart, where black beans were $0.78 cents a can for both the regular and low sodium. Living that low sodium life over here. And pinto beans were $0.78 cents a can. So good job. A Walmart both wins and loses this one. Next, we have bread. So the fancy wheat bread, as I call it, is 209. It's whole grain, and it's actually what we're supposed to be eating. Whereas the cheap wheat bread is $1.55 a loaf compared to Walmart. The round top wheat is a whole cent cheaper at Walmart. Good job. And the whole grain bread is three what three ninety seven. I couldn't find a store brand to compare. So it's a tie, I guess. Walmart both wins and loses. Aldi both wins and loses. Love it or hate it, box macaroni and cheese is what kids eat. So at Aldi, it is Aldi. It's 43 cents a box for their blue box version. And at Walmart, it is also 43 cents a box. Pasta sauce. I did pasta sauce, but not pasta because I'm a little dumb. It's $1.69 for a jar of organic pasta sauce, whereas at Walmart, it is $2.12. Aldi wins. So next we have a five pound bag of Gala apples for $5.29 a, a bag. Walmart does not have five pound bags of Gala apples. They have three pound bags and it is $4.98. So let's do a cost per pound breakdown. Aldi is selling those apples for $1.11 a pound, whereas Walmart it is $1.66 a pound. Aldi is the winner. Next we have cheese. Does anyone remember the Cheese Glorious Cheese ads from the 1980s and 90s, $2.99 for 16 ounce bags of shredded cheese. Whereas at Walmart, 
We have, come on, Walmart, your website. It just bugs me. Three ninety eight for 16 ounce bags of cheese. A dollar, a whole dollar difference. Walmart, come on. Aldi wins. My husband puts almond milk in his overnight oats, so it is two nineteen at Aldi, and at Walmart it is two thirty six for the Walmart brand of almond milk. Aldi wins. So the Danimals are five thirty seven at Aldi, the exact same price. These little Aldi single serving cups are fifty eight cents. Now I had trouble finding something comparable at Walmart, so I took a four pack. And did the math. So it came out to be 62 cents a cup. Now maybe your Walmart has those single serving cups, but sometimes my Walmart doesn't even have bread. So ugh. speaking of not having stuff, this Aldi had zero chicken in its store, but if it did have chicken, it was $2 and 49 cents a pound. Whereas Walmart, it's two ninety four dollars a pound. Cue the Aaron Copeland, because it's time to talk about beef. 73% ground beef lean I can't talk anymore was $2.99 a pound whereas the 90 something percent was $3.99 a pound compared to Walmart where the 73 percent lean was $4.43 a pound and the 93 percent lean was $5.76 a pound I pulled out my calculator and found that if I had gone to Walmart instead of Aldi it would have cost me nine dollars and seven cents more so I have found Aldi to be less expensive for these items okay so that's it tell me what is the price comparison where you live is Aldi cheaper is Walmart cheaper is it a mix of the two leave me a comment below and tell me thank you for being here and I'll see you soon